Okay, the magnetic the magnetic flux passing through a single turn of a coil is increased quickly but steadily at the rate of five exponent negative two verbal per second. If the coil has uh, 500 turns, calculate the magnitude of the induced EMF in the coil. Okay, so these questions. Uh, okay, wait a second. Okay, look at here. This question asks for magnitude of induced EMF. Uh, so this, uh, of course, the magnitude of induced EMF, the magnitude uh, refer to Faraday's law. Uh, because Faraday's law help us to find the magnitude of induced EMF. Okay, induced EMF. Uh, so, so we want to find this magnitude of induced EMF. Okay, if a uh, uh, lens law, okay, the lens law, uh, it uh, talks about direction, direction of in induced EMF. Uh, if if Faraday's law, it focus on magnitude of induced EMF, but lens law focus on direction of induced EMF. Okay. Uh, okay. So, uh, Faraday's law induced EMF. Okay, what's the formula? Maybe we should can uh, write out the formula first. What's the Faraday's law regarding the magnitude of induced EMF? Uh, how to find? So, uh, Faraday's law is this. Yeah, Faraday's. Yeah, Faraday's law is induced EMF equal to negative n the yeah, number of turns. Um, or actually, it starts from uh, d capital phi capital phi over dt uh, so uh, we know that uh, we know that this capital phi is number of turns multiplied by the magnetic flux of one turn okay uh, this is uh, this is a flux uh, linkage isn't it a uh, flux linkage uh, this is just the flux uh, this is uh, the many turns uh, this is for many turns uh, this is just for one turn okay uh, this is this is flux just for one turn this is a flux of many turns okay many a many many areas one area uh, okay so uh, further elaborate uh, further elaborate we get uh, this induced emf equal to uh, we can substitute and flux over dt Okay, and then we have negative n uh, d phi over dt. Ah, okay. So uh, uh, you can write this Faraday's. This is the called the Faraday's law. Yeah, you can write as d d capital flux over dt, or or you can write as negative n d phi over dt. Okay, it's the same. Yeah, uh, this one is capital phi. This one is small phi this is flux for many turns this is flux for just for one turn because the n i uh i uh drag it out yeah drag it out okay so here uh he say magnetic flux yeah through a single turn yeah i should this a magnetic flux through a single turn now uh, this is just for one turn of a coil increase increase this is important Increase quickly but steadily at the rate of uh, five exponent negative two verbal per second. Ah, look at this uh, unit verbal per second. So what is this? Yeah, uh, verbal is a unit for flux. Ah, uh, yeah, flux unit is verbal, isn't it? Uh, flux unit is verbal. So he say increase at the rate. Uh, at the rate. At first, the flux is verb, the unit of flux is verbal, and then the unit for rate is uh, per second lah. Okay. Ah, understand? Ah, uh, flux is uh, through a single turn lah. Through a single turn, that means this is um uh, through a single turn. This is just a small file lah because of for one turn only. Yeah, magnetic flux for one turn, so it's small file. Uh, increase at the rate of uh, this this amount ah so what i can say is uh, this uh, phi exponent this uh, phi exponent negative 2 verbal per second is d phi over dt 
Ah, uh, this one is uh, d5 over dt. Ah, uh, understand? d5 over dt. Uh, the rate of change of magnetic flux for one turn. Ah, uh, just for one turn. So I can get I uh what I can say is uh, this value is this one d flux over dt. Ah, uh, okay. So this one. Uh, okay. Hold on a second. So this value. Okay. Hold on a second. Okay, so this value is uh, d5 over dt, yeah? the rate of change of magnetic flux for one turn. And one more thing, he say increase, increase, so it's positive value. Uh, yeah? So the d should be a positive value. Uh, hold on a second, I should... Uh, uh, Alright, okay. So this uh, increase it means the increase is uh, positive, yeah? The increase is a positive. Uh, if he say increase, that means the d5 over dt is a positive value. Uh, if if the word decrease, if the word decrease, uh, then the the d5 over dt, yeah. If the he say the magnetic flux is decrease, yeah, quickly, then the then the d5 over dt, you should put negative value. Uh, you should put negative value. Understand? Uh, but right now he said increase, that means the, the, the change, the change is positive. Understand? It's positive value. Uh, so this positive negative is not about direction, uh, it's not about direction, but it's about increasing and decreasing. Understand? Uh, okay, so the d5 over dt here should be positive, 5 exponent negative 2 verbal per second. Uh, okay, uh, 5 exponent negative 2 uh, verbal per second understand verbal per second <coughs> uh, that's why you got a rate yeah per second okay so the the negative uh, the positive here it means uh the positive here uh, see the positive here it means um increasing the flux is increasing okay it's not about direction to the right. Yeah? It's not that, that meaning. This positive here, it means the flux is increasing. Uh, for every one second, for every one, sec for every one second, the flux increase uh, 5 exponent negative 2 verbal. Uh, okay, the, that's the meaning of positive value. If this value is negative, negative that means uh, for every second, the flux is decreasing, uh, decreasing 5 exponent negative 2 verbal. Uh? Uh, so this positive man, uh, positive sign means it, the the flux is increasing uh, by this amount for every second. Okay, so uh, this is d phi over dt. We got it, yeah. Okay, so the number of turns also we have. Uh, this is the end. Uh, so we have the the coil has n turns, uh, five hundred turns. So we want to find the induced EMF. So very simple. We can do it. Okay, substitute all the values. Uh, negative. Uh, 500 turns multiplied by this uh, positive uh, 5 exponent negative 2 verbal per second okay so what's the value uh, what's the value uh, negative 500 multiplied by 5 exponent uh, negative 2 so uh, okay so the answer is um, uh, negative negative uh, 25 negative 25 volt yes uh, so so yes that's that's it uh, so the negative here it means um, uh, this negative is important now you must write uh, the negative here is important you must write uh, this one is actually means um, it opposes uh, direction this is about this means about the direction uh, it uh, oppose the oppose the uh, oppose the uh, change of mag oppose the change of magnetic flux lah. Uh, oppose the change of uh, or we can say oppose the change oppose the increase of magnetic flux. Ah, uh, okay. Um, so this is uh, 
about Lenz law lah. Yeah, this one, this one, the negative sign here, it means about Lenz law. Uh, Lenz law. Okay, so that's the answer. Uh, that's the magnitude of induced EMF. So you put uh, 25 volt. Um, yeah, actually this one just focus on magnitude. So you just give uh, 25 volt also can. But if you put negative 25 volt, the examiner still mark it correct. Yeah, still mark it correct. Don't worry. Uh, so negative 25 volt. Yeah, actually negative 25 volt is more accurate. Yeah, it's more accurate. Uh, so it's, I think it's still better you put negative 25 volt. Okay, uh, because negative negative sign is actually originally from the equation because the equation originally has a has a negative sign. Uh, so you just maintain the negative sign. I don't think it's a problem. Okay, uh, so the examiner will just look at the magnitude. If the magnitude is correct, the magnitude is correct, then they will still mark it as correct. Okay, so that's all for these questions.